everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna, and today we'll be talking about my main TV yard. Let's get going. I don't have a lot of books this time, it's the same as usual, I do have three books from the library, so we're gonna read that first, and then two, if I get to it, I get to it. I am a little bit busy with my book, because my book came from my editor, so I am editing my book as well. So yeah, it's a hit or miss this month, cause I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to read all my books, but the let me books are for sure gonna be the first ones to read. Let's get going. So my first book is 1984 by George Orwell. I actually do not know what is, this book is about. So, a masterpiece of a billion and an imprisonment award is peace, freedoms, and slavery, and big brothers watching. Without police, big brother Aurelian, these words have entered our vocabulary because of George Orwell's classic dystopian novel 1984. The story of one man's nightmare honesty as he pursues the forbidden love affair through a world ruled by warring states and a power structure that controls not only information but also individual thought, thought and memory 1984. It's a prohibitive haunting tale, more virulent than ever before. 1984 exposes the worst crimes imaginable than destruction of truth, freedom, and virtuality. That sounds quite interesting. I wanted to do a challenge with this book, which is why I got it in the first place. But for the life of me, I cannot remember what that challenge was. I think I had to do something with the Guinness World of Record, something like that. World Record. But I'm sure it will come to me. I hope it will come to me. My next book, I'm finally going to read this book, I hope. It's Ever Cursed by Koei and Heidu. I believe this is like Damsel, kind of Hansel and Gretzel retail. Or was it damsel? One of the two. The princesses of Eva are beloved by the kingdom and their father the king. They are cherished, admired, cursed. Jane, Alice, Norton, Grace, and Eden carry the burden of being punished for a crime they did not commit or even knew about. They are each cursed to be without one essential thing, the ability to eat, sleep, love, remember, or hope. And the mother, the queen, is imprisoned, frozen in time in an unbreakable glass box. But when Eden's curse sets in on her 13th birthday, the princesses are given the opportunity to break their curses, to prevent them from becoming true spells, and dooming the princesses for life. To do this, they must confront the one who cast the spell, Regan, a young witch who might not be the villain they thought, as well as the wickedness plaguing their own kingdom and family. That sounds really nice, and the cover is so pretty. Oh. <laughs> My next book is Seven Faceless Saints by M. K. Logue. In the city of Oblazia, saints and their dis disciplines rule with terrifying and unjust power, playing favorites with that favorite struggle to survive. After her father's murder at the hands of the Oblazian military, Rosanna Lecturosa is willing to do whatever it takes to dismantle the corruptist system. Tapping into her powers as a discipline of patience, joining the rebellion, and facing the boy who broke her heart. As the youngest captain in the history of Palazzo security, Damien Venturi is expected to be ruthless and strong, and to serve the saints with unquestioning devotion. But three years spent fighting in the never-ending Second War of Saints have left him with deeper scars than he wants to admit, and a fear of confronting the girl he left behind. And so, these two books are actually a part of for another video that I actually remembered what it is. And that is A Memoir on the Craft on Writing by Stephen King. I'm going to do a video where I am being studying for journalism. Because, long story short, I wanted to take journalism, but that never happened. So, I thought it would be fun to do a video just to see what kind of books they are reading. So, yeah. Uh, and this is just like includes about an essay about his father by Owen King and the conversation between Stephen King and his son Joe Hill. So this is just like revealing a practical view of the writer's craft, compromising the basic tools of the trade every writer must have. King's advice is grounded in his vivid memories from childhood through his emergence as a writer, from, from his struggling early career to his widely reported near-fatal accident in 1999. Extractable link between writing and living spurred his recovery. So, yeah, um, it looks kind of nice to me, so who knows how it's going to be, I hope it's good. <laughs> 
And again, this book is also part of the journalism video that I'm going to be doing soon. Probably when I get back from my vacation. And this is the Collected Essays, Journalism, and Letters of George Orwell. So we have another, another book. Oh, and I guess I took out volume 2. But that's okay. I hope it's still okay. <laughs> so this book is basically a has four volumes taken with his published books, Make of the Definitive Collected Works of George Orwell, in time in then his essays, journalism, and letters arranged chrono chronologically to show how his life and work developed, and in this arrangement they stand in for an autobiography, with each volume covering a distinct period of his life. Nearly all the journalism and letters have never been reprinted before and un unknown except to a few of Orwell's contemporaries. These volumes also contain manuscripts found after the, his death, which illuminate his way of working as a writer and the historical events in which he took part. The well-known essays have been included in the chronological context to complete the picture of his evolution. These volumes give a much more human and modern account of George Orwell than has ever been given before, but they also present a completely original story of the political life of the first half of the 20th century. That sounds really interesting, so I'm excited to learn more about George Orwell. And that's all that I have for my main team here, so nothing too crazy. Um, I'm hoping I will get to them. I might actually take Evercus on my vacation. I know we're going to be doing most of exploration, but you know, in the evening when we're like chilling in bed, ready to, ready to go to sleep, I just might take that in, but I don't know, we will see. And there's an pl airplane ride, so yeah. But anyways, those are all the books that we'll be reading for my main TV video. Let me know what you're reading in May, and please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time we post, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!